What is going on guys, it's Reflex here, and before I even start this video, I want to give quick credit to both Sora Alum 1 and Cage Central. Sora Alum 1, just for the topic of his video, that inspired me to make this video, and the Cage Central for also being the extra incentive to want to make this video as well. So I suggest before even watching my video, go ahead and watch theirs if you haven't already, because you will not be disappointed. But man... I mean, I honestly can't believe that the final battle trailer was only three days ago, and even though people are saying that we might get a couple more trailers in January, I'm still considering this the last big trailer that we're getting, and I'm very pleased if this is the trailer that we go out on. And if this is the last big trailer we're getting, I mean, it's bittersweet. It honestly is bittersweet, and I might get a little sappy, so I mean, just cue the sad emotional music because, I mean, you're probably thinking in your head, what's bittersweet about it? Shouldn't you be happy that Kingdom Hearts 3 is next to come? You know, it's going to be coming out in over, like, a little over a month. Month. and yes of course I'm happy about that but the bittersweet part is that this is the last trailer where we stay up late at night with friends waiting for a trailer that we are gonna all freak out over you know like the Big Hero 6 trailer I mean shoot we all had to get up extra early you know because of the final battle trailer just for the reason they dropped that a day early which caught us all off guard and we freaked out many of us cried on that trailer I didn't exactly cry until I watched it like 40 more times and then I started getting emotional just because the realization started hitting it. because the realization is that this is all bittersweet because it's a five year journey since the reveal trailer and throughout those five years I've come across many awesome people and the part that makes me sad about all that is how many of those people I might possibly lose contact with after Kingdom Hearts 3 and it's not to say I want that to happen because believe me I want to stay friends with every single awesome person that I've met throughout this journey but after Kingdom Hearts 3 the future is just it's blurry it's not set in stone and I know that it's not over for Kingdom Hearts there were obviously be a Kingdom Hearts 4 in a long time future but with that being said what about the time in between you know I really do hope I stay in contact with everyone I met and I hope this is only the beginning because the Kingdom Hearts community is by far the best community I've ever been a part of and I've been a part of a few communities and none is like this one I mean I'm being serious there's so many different types of content creators throughout this community and sorry if I don't name everyone but that just shows how many great creators there are but I gotta give shout outs to most of the creators obviously to start it off shout outs to the key keepers because we watched them the majority of this five-year journey and they've kept this community entertained with the content they put out and inspired many others to do the same and I've already said that cynical and skyward wing inspired me to do Kingdom Hearts content back in 2015 then there is actually videos out there and you can hear a way younger me make videos talking about Kingdom Hearts 3 and boy was I off on some of the videos I made I'm not even gonna link them down below because I don't want people to find them but there is videos out there they're cringy but they're also fun to look at but yes like I said shout out to all the key keepers because they're just all amazing individuals and I mean like I said they've kept me entertained quite a bit throughout these years now these next creators aren't necessarily Kingdom Hearts youtubers but rather just very passionate for the game itself but still make great videos such as Afro Senju I mean I've been watching him for years but his reaction to these Kingdom Hearts 3 trailers are just hilarious and never cease to make my day and I always look forward to them I mean to this day his reaction during the E3 trailers are probably the most hilarious to me and the most ones that I've rewatched over and over and over. I mean, when he yells Aqua, that shit just had me laughing so hard. I won't let her fall to darkness. Who's this? That's the other him. The other Riku. The other Riku. Who's Nikas? Who's Nikas that? Who is that? Aqua? Aqua? Who are you? Aqua? Aqua? Miss Aqua? What's happening to you? Why do you, why you look like that? You're too late. No! But next up is Super Butter Buns, and she's also a great creator who is passionate for the game. Now, as I said, she's not predominantly a Kingdom Hearts YouTuber, but she is a great creator nonetheless. And my favorite series that she does is her Four Beginner series, which I'll be definitely looking forward to the Kingdom Hearts 3 Four Beginners when that day comes. Now, next up is Samurai Kibiji. I hope I'm saying that right, but he is a YouTuber that is a part of an awesome project that I'll be plugging later on. But he posts a wide range of content from reviews to reactions. And I mean, there's a lot of different type of videos that he makes and they're all good quality in their own right. And he's just indeed a big fan of Kingdom Hearts and definitely deserves to be brought up when it comes to the Kingdom Hearts community. But we also got Lemonform72, which I could have sworn had 100,000 subs, but I guess he has 10,000. I don't know exactly where the other zero came from, but he posts a variety of Kingdom Hearts related content 
and I mean I think is deserving of a hundred thousand to be quite honest but definitely go check him out as well but now here's where I start loving the community because there is a lot of smaller Kingdom Hearts content creators who are awesome as well like Volt Edits which I just want to say congrats man if you're watching this on 10k you definitely deserve it I mean you've been on that grind for years and I mean hey it's paying off so I mean cheers to 10k and the journey to 100,000 begins. And you did say you wanted to hit 10K before Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. Well, hey, you indeed did that as well as hit it before even 2019. So, I mean, kudos to you, man. But next, we got two great creators that if you're looking for the latest news for Kingdom Hearts 3, they are definitely the two you need to watch and turn on notifications for because they're on that news like extra quick. And first up is Ed DeWiz. He's been doing a 100-day countdown that I tried to do but failed mainly because I just I couldn't keep up with you know certain things in my life were just preventing that but he does that as well as the news and hasn't missed a day of the countdown yet so i mean shoot keep that grind going but he's a great youtuber as well as cage central he does the same news content but not only does he post the latest news he also does theory videos as well as some you know i guess i could say miscellaneous videos if that makes sense but they're all great videos and he is a great youtuber and a great down-to-earth chill dude i mean not even lying like i've talked to him a couple times and he's he's legit the first I, I want to say person from the community that gave me a shout out, which I was like, dang, all right, that's cool. And I mean, that's how I noticed that he was a really, you know, down to earth dude. So definitely go check both of them out. But then we got Prodigy XCD, which makes great Kingdom Hearts content, whether it's a theory or a reaction or even just talking about, you know, something that got released in Kingdom Hearts 3. It's always a great video and you definitely won't be disappointed. And he's definitely going to be passing me in sub count very, very soon and get to 2K, which is going to be awesome. So when that day comes, I'm saying it now, congrats on 2K. You know, I want to be the first one to say, it. even if you haven't hit it yet, I'm still being the first one. Just come back on this video. But the last of the content content creators and like i said before i even list them if i forgot anyone i do apologize there's just so many that it's hard to keep track of and how did i almost forget hold on a minute i just like now one popped in my head everglow i shouldn't even have to tell you on why to sub to him if y'all haven't been keeping track of his kingdom Hearts timeline videos you've been doing a disservice to yourself check him out subscribe right now and watch it from the beginning he goes through every single arc of kingdom hearts whether it's union cross that i hate the game but man does he make it easy to follow and i mean just he helps with following the story and does a phenomenal job with each and every episode he's on episode 100 i believe probably by the time this video goes up it could be 101 but i have not watched episode 100 yet but it is the hollow bastion showdown so i'm excited for that I mean, I just can't wait to watch that, but still, shout outs to him, go sub to him right now and watch that timeline. But as I was saying, these last four content creators are good friends of mine and make great content. And first up is Cole's Kingdom. Now my man's is always on the grind with not only his Kingdom Hearts 3 countdown videos, but also the news videos and the numerous let's plays that he does for his channel. He uploads once or I think twice a day, I'm not entirely sure, but regardless, he's entertaining in every single video he does. And he's doing a let's play of Rechain of Memories right now. So if you guys want to check that out, you can. But next is another great friend of mine. Her channel is Lost in Adventures. She does reactions to the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailers as well as unboxing videos and vlogs and does plan on doing a let's play of Kingdom Hearts 3 when the time that the game actually comes out. And she's really close to a thousand subscribers, which I'm sure she'll hit probably in the next couple days because she has been growing really, really fast and for a good reason. But yeah, go ahead and check her out. Shouts out to you. You're making great content and you're killing it. So keep it up because you'll probably be passing me too because these people that I'm talking about they're growing pretty fast they're hitting milestone after milestone and I'm happy to see them but next up is Princess Rose and you guys probably know her from my one guy and one girl dubs the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer she's like my other half on this channel well at least for that series which I mean she helps me tremendously because I don't know who else really could do what she does to be quite honest she does she does what I needed mostly because obviously it would have sounded extra weird if it was one guy dubs all the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailers and you had to listen to me do the women voices, like, mm mm. Nope, she saved that from being extremely cringy, but still. Shouts out to her. She actually does a lot of, you know, content as well. She posts reactions, fan dubs, theory videos, and is actually playing Kingdom Hearts for the first time ever, which is awesome to watch. And what a better time to finally get to play the game than before the third game drops. So definitely go ahead and check her out. But the last one is Pika Punch Gamer. Now, she doesn't really post Kingdom Hearts related content. Content, but does do less plays for her channel and I'm assuming she'll do one for Kingdom Hearts 3 when it comes out but she said in the past that she does like the franchise and is passionate for it 
and I mean she makes good content entertaining content and is a chill individual so yeah just go ahead and check her out because you will not be disappointed now as for the quick plug I was talking about on January 19th there will be a video called the road to Kingdom Hearts 3 which you might have seen a trailer uploaded around a few different people's channels including mine as well as Samurai Kibiji Lost in Adventure and Cage Central but as well as other familiar faces and voices but it is going to be an awesome video that I recommend you check out when it drops fully on the Cage 13's channel on January January 19th but if you're curious right now you can actually go watch the trailer on my channel or the ones I have listed but do you see how long it took us to get through every single great content creator that this community is made up of like honestly do you see how many people there are and they're not just great creators but all around great people and you may not know each other or know each and every one of them but we have all bonded together by just one great game and that is Kingdom Hearts 3 and yeah I could sit here and name all the streamers like Keyblade Sarah and Seesaw Shelby or even name all the wonderful artists that literally do magical things for the community like Edo Ninja and I mean so many more people that I could name but I would forget so many people would be a disservice but you guys know who I'm talking about. I mean even the most even the musically talented people that I see post covers throughout the years or even make custom case themed tracks I mean the list could go on for such a long time and probably still wouldn't even be able to name everyone and that just goes to show how passionate this community is for Kingdom Hearts. This game has literally brought so many people together and formed so many bonds that if you think of it that's the message of Kingdom Hearts. That is the message that it sends. Our friends are our power and we're family and I hope this continues even past Kingdom Hearts 3 because it has just been a fun journey and come January 29th or for some January 25th or even for some the way they got the game now and spoiling it which I mean fuck those guys but we're not you know we're gonna keep the nice chill happiness to this but the journey is almost over and once the journey ends when that day comes that the game comes out then a new journey begins and it's just been so fun I mean it's crazy that it's almost over I mean if you would have told me five years or even just as a kid, when I was one, I was that kid that thought after Kingdom Hearts 2, well, give me Kingdom Hearts 3 right now. You know, I was severely disappointed that it took this long. You know, even till 2013 to reveal the game, I honestly thought it was coming out like so quickly. But obviously, there's those people that waited that long, and it's just if you would have told me back then that Kingdom Hearts 3 was gonna eventually actually come out and it was going to be real, I would have probably said you were lying. Cause as I said, I lost faith. Even though I was waiting for such a long time, I eventually lost faith even when it got revealed because years later I'm still seeing now in development, now in development, now in development and you know, it's just it became a thing where I wasn't sure if the game was real. I wasn't sure if I was ever going to play this game because I played it such early in my life to the point where when you know like now I'm not even in high school anymore. I graduated high school. And that's like many the stories of many of these people. I mean, so many YouTubers that I've watched, even like Super Beard Bros, for instance. Alex, he was in college at the time, and now he's he's been out of college for such a long time. That's how long people's been waiting for this game, which is nuts. This game has literally been either your childhood, your teenage years, or all the above, because. I mean, goodness sakes, it's not a bad thing though, because it's like I said, it created so many bonds, it created childhood, and I mean, say it did come out right after Kingdom Hearts 2, then the memories wouldn't be as much as they are now. We can't say like, oh my god, did you guys see that final battle trailer? Did you see this and that? Did you see, you know, imagine the five years we had to wait? We can't say that if the game came out as quick as we wanted. You know, all these memories happened for a reason, you know, just the wait and all that I'm actually had because no other game can say that the wait has been fun because I mean I'm gonna be critical here with a lot of the games that came out minus a couple the wait for Kingdom Hearts 3 has been more fun than a lot of the games that's came out over the years and that's facts I mean I'm just being honest the, the wait for Kingdom Hearts 3 has been more fun than the past three Call of Duty except for Black Ops 4 because I actually like that but the past Call of Duties the wait has been better then uh, well try to make another joke didn't work but the way has been fun and I don't think another game can ever say that I honestly don't because I mean when it came to trailers of like Metal Gear I was hyped but I wasn't there like uh, I could miss it like if I missed it I wouldn't be mad at myself I'd be like okay well I'll watch it later oh hey it's Metal Gear cool but with Kingdom Hearts I'm here wait staying up late at night or staying up until 7 in the morning to watch the trailer Losing sleep because of a trailer 
you know, no other game is, you know, got me by the neck as much as Kingdom Hearts 3. And, like, it's just, it's nuts, but it's awesome. And it's an experience that I'll probably just, it'll be one of the best memories ever, to be quite honest. And I'm glad I experienced it. I hope you guys, you guys, man, I can't even talk now at this point. I've been talking so much. But I hope you all have experienced it and, you know, are happy with the experience. And hopefully this is all great memories to you to, you know, share with others and just remember for a future time to come. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. And I don't even think like the way for Kingdom Hearts 4. And obviously we're not, I'm not saying like now as I'm an adult later on, like, you know, not as a kid anymore. I'm not going to say, oh, I've been waiting for Kingdom Hearts 4 since January 20 or January 30th. You know, what the, f you know, I ain't going to be like that, you know, but the wait for Kingdom Hearts 4 isn't going to be as memorable as the wait for Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, that's just facts in my opinion, but it's been a crazy journey. I can't believe it's almost over. Sorry if I've been rambling. Sorry if I got a little, I don't know, emotional. Just, I don't know. It's just so odd to finally say Kingdom Hearts 3 will be mine. Like, do you guys realize when I hold it in my hands? I'll probably shed tears. I'll shed tears looking at the box art. I'll shed tears when I'm looking at the goddamn hearing Dearly Beloved for the first time. I'll be going to, you know, clicking on new game, probably shed a tear, a quick one right there. I'll be shedding tears throughout the game. Every single little thing that happens, like, I bawled my eyes out, you know, like, just, I bawled my eyes out when it came to the final battle trailer. Even though it took a couple watches, like three, four. Okay, I watched it a lot, but still, it took a few watches, but I, I eventually started shedding some tears. So if a tr goddamn trailer can make me shed a tear, if I can cry at the beginning of The Last of Us or at the end of Final Fantasy 15, this game is going to murder me. This game is going to be the death of me, I swear to Jesus. Because, oh boy, it's, it's crazy. I mean, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys thought of this whole entire journey and this video itself. And hopefully I shouted out most of the content creators. There's many more you know, that I didn't name that I obviously at this point when I'm editing the video, I'm probably looking at the video right now saying, fuck, like I missed a couple and I know I'm going to be hearing about it. <laughs> like people are going to tell me that's what I'm kind of afraid about. It's like someone's going to be like, you forgot me. And I, it's going to be like one of my best friends. I'm like, shit, God damn it. And I'm going to be so sad. But still, like, I, you know, I didn't mean to miss you. There's just so many of the people in this community that are so great at what they do. And that's, I mean... That's why it's so awesome to see. And hopefully, like I said, I named everyone. But if you guys did enjoy this video, sorry for the rambly ending. But you know me. I'm rambling reflex. I literally had a series called Reflex Rambles. So you know it's a, it's part of my brand. But yes, if you guys did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe. And you guys on the drill. Hold on. Wait. If you guys got this far, I want you to comment down below. Oh, yeah. You thought I was going to do, you know, a long-ass video and not say one of these? No. If you got this far. Ooh. Let's see what I got uh, to work with. If you got this far, comment down below. A tidy cat is a good cat when the cat isn't tidy. When it got a blanket over its keyblade, about to unsheathe it and defeat Xehanort with its fur. Meow. I think this is a weird countdown, but yes, include that in there too. And what I just said, yep. It's impossible for you to follow this, but we'll see who does. But like I said, the first person, to, like I always say, you comment down this below, first one gets pinned. It's always what we do, a little game. They, it gets a little bit difficult to figure out what the hell I'm about to say. But yes, if you guys did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, and you guys know the drill. I will see you guys later.